I'm going to attempt to tell you and show you how I'm putting the screen on my sliding door. Basically, it's one screen, but it's a big screen because with the same screening, I'm doing the side door here. This is the passenger side, and I'm also going to be doing the back hatch. So that's the reason I bought one screen. It was a very large one, probably for an eight foot door. So it was long enough for both areas. The main thing for me was really this magnetic strip here, because when you open it, it just automatically closes. That's what I wanted. The size I wasn't that concerned about. So let me show you how I'm doing this. Basically all around the whole screen there's this Velcro. And then there's a Velcro that you put on your car. You tape it on. It comes in a big roll. Let me sneak in here a little bit. It's kind of unrolled right now, but comes in a big roll. So you just peel it off and you stick it on your car. You put alcohol first to clean it off. So I put that all along the top. And then they give you, I put it underneath here. Okay. It's really on this here on the very, very edge. And then I put Oh, where did I put them? Oh, and then they then they give you these tacks. So these tacks I put up under that. Here, let me just show you. So I'm taking this off. So where you want to put the tacks is in between the Velcro here and the Velcro here. So if you have to take it off, the Velcro will stay on. And then I just put this on the top. So the screening is actually on the headliner. Very, very edge of the headliner. And then I put the tacks. And then I put this back on. Now for the side, you can see a little bit here. Let me back up. See this right here? This is that 3M um, tape, that really strong tape. So I cut the screening. You can see a little bit's hanging out here. I have, to, I have to trim this. But you cut the screening. You put the screening on top of the 3M tape. You make sure you're not too tight, but you're not too loose with the screen. And then you put the, this right back on it. And it seems to be staying. Like I said, I'm going to trim all around the bottom there. So now I'm working on this side here. I'm going to do the same thing. See how I, I pulled this away from the car here? I'm going to be putting that 3M tape right along here. I'm going to clean it with alcohol first. Put it all along here. Put the screening on here like that. And then I'm going to put this back on here. And that's it. And just work slowly all around. See, I only put tape up to here because I want to do this top area here first and make sure it's on nicely before I go all the way down. And I'm just doing maybe one foot sections at a time. On the bottom, I'm going to put some black tape, really strong Gorilla black tape all along the bottom to finish it. I may also put some magnets there just to give it a little bit of weight. I'm thinking about doing that. I'll show you that after I complete it. It's too hard to tape and uh, get this to come out right. Also along the top I'm putting just another strip here. This is the screening is right here so I'm not going to put screen here but I'm going to put this and that's going to help to hold this up in place. Because after you take it off, you know, it gets a little bit loose. So it's just for extra security there. 
There it is. All done. Came out pretty good. This is what it looks like from the inside. Pretty good. Yeah. So I got gray instead of black. It just seemed like the black had like ribs in it and I really didn't want to look like I was in jail. <laughs> so there's no Velcro. This is was actually the bottom of the screen. There's no Velcro here. There's Velcro on the side. But here, here's the magnets in the middle here, right? Okay. I pulled this up here and I think I'm going to just tuck it in here. I don't even think I'm going to use tape. Let's give it a try. I think it's going to stay. I'm not going to be going in and out of this door. I'm just maybe want to open it sometimes, you know. But actually, I want the screening here. Right. So, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be opening it to get, you know, to my stuff down in here, obviously. But it's not like I'm going to go in and out. I am totally going to do it this way. I think I can go all the way around. We'll see. I might be out for a rude awakening, but I'm going to give it a try. We'll see. I'll let you know how it turns out. So there's some kind of sealant on there. So I may just do the top like this. <gasps> I don't know if I want to go all the way around. We'll see. Ah, so my hands are all greasy now. I probably should have cleaned it off, but that's okay. I got the top done. I got this side done. It is all tucked in. On the bottom here, what I did was, because it's all tucked in here, you know, there's no break here. So what I did was I cut it straight, and this will, I'll put the um, tape like I did on the bottom of the other screen. Now, still closes really good. It even has a little tab down here. How about that? Perfect spot. But anyway, so let me show you what you have to do. So after you get to the top done... You have to cut it and then fit this screeny here. You have to cut all of this. So cut all of, cut the whole side off. Okay, fit the screeny in, in between here and go all the way down and then do like that on the bottom. I'm gonna finish this side up right now. See how I got the screen all the way on this side now? Yeah, there's a lot left over, but that's okay. I'm going to cut it. And then here, this here, I'm going to fit in, and then this will get, this will get cut right here. Like I did this side. Make sure before you cut anything that this is all together here. In fact, it's a good idea if you clip it down there, too. It's getting a little dark to finish, and I'm tired. But I wanted to show you, I did put the tape on one side on the bottom. I have to just do that other side there. So as an afterthought, um, I, actually, I think it's fine. Um, it might be a little bit long. So I'm going to actually, I'm just going to tuck this in like that and that you know that, that'll be fine because I don't want this hatch to rip the screen so yeah I just have to remember to do that that'll be fine okay so I'll just finish that up tomorrow um, done filming this because I think you've seen enough but I think it looks awesome really really good clean up all my materials tomorrow all right i actually do have screens on these back windows and there is a video that i'll put in the description about how i made those
dog. So what I want to yeah. do is I want to show you that anybody can put the screens on your car. This is Katie. I'm at Katie at Courtside and she's camping by me and she's going to, I'm going to help her put her screens on. Hey everybody. This is my no build van. Okay. And Travel Grandma has screens on hers and I love it. And it's still, you can get air, but you still have a little bit of privacy and it's not like everybody's just looking in. So she's gonna help me do that. And Stacy's gonna help to film this for us. Thank you, Stacy. So let's see what you bought. Okay, it's a little bit different brand. It doesn't matter the brand. The important part on the screens is not even this outside part. You want the clips in the middle, the magnet clips. That's the most important part. Katie, if you could hold this side for me, please. Yes. We can show the magnet clips in the middle. Okay. So when she's going to have this on her, her um, door, what's going to keep it closed are these magnets. That's basically the only reason that you need to buy these special screening. You can do this with any screening if you're able to put magnets in the middle. Or I've seen also a zipper. That'll work as well. Okay, so these are a little bit different than mine. They're a little bit lighter weight. They're very long. We're not going to worry about the length. What we're concerned about is the width to make sure that they're going to fit all the way across. And Barely. it's pretty tight. Yeah. Um, it could work. Okay? Yeah, because it's not... We may just have them hanging a little. I don't think, you know what? It might work. Maybe tack this side down and let that side hang. Possibly. Possibly. Because I'm not... <clears throat> Let's see what came Super in the kit. Worried about the bugs. Okay. I'm worried about privacy. Okay. That Just, yeah, that does know, give you some. Okay, so she's fine. got some Velcro strips here, and it looks like they're two sided. Did it come with any pins? Yes. Right. Perfect. Now, what I did with mine, I don't know whether we'll do that with yours or not. Let's just see. Okay. I pulled this off. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Well, this part fell off the other day. Now, what I did to <laughs> secure these, okay, because if you've ever worked with Velcro before, I'm just going to open it up just like that. Okay. A lot of times the Velcro is so strong that, let's see, okay, here's one strip. See how strong that is? If you ever want to, if you put one side on there and one side in there, when you go to rip this off, I don't know whether this sticky stuff is going to be strong enough to stay on your car. Oh, okay. So the purpose for the pins and the way that I did it is I put the Velcro on first, and it doesn't really matter what side Should I wipe like that down. I'm going to actually put it on your liner. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the pins inside the Velcro. Okay. And then we will put the other Velcro on the top. Okay. Okay. She thought the so, same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to take this. I'm going to let you do it because I want to show how anybody can do this. So I want you to line up just on the top. We're not going to worry about the side right now. We're only going to do the top. So you're going to put it right here. Okay. You want to come in and show oh, this? Oh, there's the liner. Right yeah. here on her liner. Okay. She's going to put the, which side do you want to put? It doesn't really matter. Let's put this side. Okay. This side here, so she's going to, she's going to take the tape off. She's gonna put this here. She's gonna put her pins in here, along all along here. Okay, as many as you think will secure that. Okay. And do the same side for each one. And then we'll see how many she decides to put on. You want to help me? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Should I hold this up and do it like? No, don't worry Make about sure that. Doesn't matter. It. Oh, nope. okay. Nope. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, so. Right. Right there. And two pins per item? Sure. If you have enough pins, I think you will. Because we're only going to put the pins on the top. Right 
Right. Okay. I have an uh, audience here. This is Ishana. Ishana, how many pins would you put across yours? Because you have a similar van. I do. Right. Um, one, Let's two, help three, her out. four, five. I would do. I think I would do six. Six. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Every four inches, I think I would do. Every four do inches. Do a strip. Uh, yeah, when you right say here. pins, do you yeah. mean the Velcro strips? That sounds great. The Velcro strips? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll do six. So okay. every, four, every four inches. It's cool to see that that rubber gasket just comes down mm -hmm. like that and they can go right back up. And it's the same for the back hatch if you ever wanted to put screens on your back hatch. Yeah. So in our van community, we always help each other. And recently, Ishana helped me with some things, and I helped her with some things. Mm -hmm. She has a YouTube channel. Tell them the name of your YouTube channel. Oh, Blue Wonder Lady. It's a real and simple uh, channel, so I don't edit much, which means you get to see what is really happening as I am using my kitchen and my bed and even starting jump starting my battery uh, it's real life and real fun you've got some great tips thank you thank you yeah well and you do too travel grandma thank you all right she's got one two three four two more go 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 <laughs> Six seem like enough to you? I think so, huh? Maybe one in the corner? Right here. Sure. We're gonna go one more for good measure. Take your time and do it right the first time. Otherwise, you're gonna have to redo it. <laughs> so Ishana had a good idea. Why don't you tell them about your idea, Ishana? Well, if it doesn't fit around, because it's a little snug. Yes, yes. If it doesn't uh, fit around, if it's a little snug, duct tape. Uh, duct tape can be used for so many things. Mm -hmm. uh, people have made boats, little mm -hmm. boats, out of duct tape. Okay. Uh, so duct tape comes in handy for all sorts of survival skills. And I would say this is a survival I would too. situation. I would too. All right. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Voila. Okay, so now <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to attach, um, ideally, and you can do this temporarily for right now. We're gonna see if this is going the other sides of these. Is this the other sides of all of uh -huh. them? We'll stick on here. Now another thing that will help this stick, we'll keep it together. Oops, that side there. So we do wanna keep this together now. And we okay. wanna center the, so we're gonna put one on each side of here, as close as we can to the front, to the middle. Okay, and then one on, on this side here. I'm trying to see which one is which way is the corner. I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem like it matters. They're both the same. So put yours on this side here. Right here. Right on the edge. together like that. Uh, you know what? I hope this is the top. Is this the top? Doesn't seem to matter. So now we're going to hold these together like this and we're going to put it right. Oh, you know what we should do? Mistake. That's okay. We okay. can make mistakes. Would you put another strip right here? Yes. We needed to have two together to where this will stick on. The one that, the screen that I had, the strip went all the way across. So I didn't worry about where I put the strips. Yes, yeah, right in the, here. Um, I would go more toward this side because that's more of the middle where you're going to put the screen. Okay, perfect. Now you're going to put this, holding it together, right in those middle parts. Okay. 
Perfect. All right. Now, everywhere where you have Velcro, match it up. Put a Velcro strip on the inside here, and then match it up to each each one of your Velcro strips on your headliner. See how easy this is? It really is simple. You can actually just even put it on here and then put this on the top. That would work easier. Yeah. This way they're really lined up. Perfect. Ah, boy, that's sticky. Which is good. So, I think what we're going to do is we're actually... I'm going to slip this on the inside. Oh, okay. What we're, what's going to happen here is after she gets that on, we're going to tie this back up here and that's going to secure that screen a little bit more because this um, oh, rubber nice. piece will go into her car a little bit and that'll secure the whole thing. And her screen is actually in the inside of her car instead of on the outside to where so it won't catch on your door. Yeah. Okay. That is the process. That's all you're going to do. So we're going to let her finish up. She's going to put the rest of her Velcro on. She's going to put this and then we're going to worry about the sides. We may put the Velcro on the sides. We may put the tape. We may even leave some of it loose. If you had a very large screen, you could leave some of it loose, which actually I kind of prefer because if when it's loose, if this is loose and it kind of hangs over a little bit, right? It gives you more space to open this up and really come inside. But when this side is taut down here, it's it gives it's less. So I'm gonna actually redo mine and get a wider screen and to where I can have more space so I can put this actually way up here. We just pick when this when this is all the way down, I can only open it that much. And you don't know that until you do it and you experiment with that. So you know you may have to do it again anyway. That's okay. You might try that maybe with uh, an old piece of cloth. See how it's gonna work out for you before you buy expensive screening. Now this wasn't expensive, so that's a good thing too. And she has another one, so if we make a mistake and cut it wrong or something, we can do another one. Or if it didn't fit, maybe she can use part of that other screening as well and just drape it over. Lots of different ways people can figure it out, um, different ways. You know your vehicle, every vehicle size is going to be different. Her screen may be a little bit different. Her opening may be a little bit different, as well as um, Ishana's. What are you doing now? <laughs> adding one more. You're adding one more, okay. She's on a roll. You're just gonna let her do her thing. So let's just put this in here. Let's just put the top first. Let's secure it up. Sometimes there is glue on here. Okay. Um, you can probably, if you wanted to secure this more, because sometimes when you're playing around with it, it could get a little bit loose. Okay. So just know that you can always put extra glue yeah. in here too. And okay. It up. If you have a problem just with it. Just stop and get some of that adhesive yeah, stuff. Whatever. But it just goes up like that. Look at that. It pops right back in. Yep. <laughs> So then she's going to do the sides and then she can go. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm going to love this. So, and then it should close automatically like that. Then you're going to trim it however you want. Now, here's a trick on um, trimming it. If you trim it too long, when you close your door, that's going to catch and it's also going to tear your screen. So I would go maybe right there. Let it fall into your car as best as possible. Let's see. Now, sometimes this pulls These out. These scissors are so sharp. I'm like the sharpest pair of scissors I've ever had. Uh -huh. So you can decide from here where you want oh, to put okay. the Velcro. It's not going to, this screen is not going to fit for the outside. 
this is not coming off and I don't want to tear it off. Okay. You could. So what I would suggest is you take this screen, put Velcro right here. Yeah. Um, do you have any alcohol? Because it's, it sticks better if you have a little bit of alcohol. I have vinegar. Well, I could try it. You want to try and it? And then you can just, she's just going to lay it right like that. Okay. You can go down as far as you want, but remember, if you go all the way down, you said you're not worried about the buds? Yeah, I'm not. If so you're not worried about the buds, maybe only just put one or two just to secure it here. Leave the, leave the last half open. What about that? Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then if you decide later on that you do want, you know, the buds come in, keep your Velcro. Yeah. Add it later. Just secure a couple for now. I just now. want, because it gives uh, a little bit of privacy. Yeah. yeah. And then you can have air, a little bit yeah. of privacy. So sometimes it just sticks a little bit better if you put some alcohol. We're going to try the vinegar, see if that works. It just cleans it a little bit. Yeah. Because sometimes there's dust, especially out here in the desert. Oh, gosh. A I'll lot of dust. That. We didn't worry about the headliner because we were putting the tacks anyway. And this is real secure. This is this is not going anywhere. Okay. Uh, I, you're just catch, about done. They catch really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, not too shabby, huh? Not too bad. I would cut it maybe right about there. Okay. You want me cut to cut it longer than you think? And no. then you can always go shorter. But if you cut it too short, you can't go longer. Right. Do <laughs> that. Okay. Let's see. So you want to cut it for me? No, I want you to do the whole thing. I just want to do it straight. So. I think I'm going to go right above here. Okay. Well, let me give you a little bit of a clue. Now hold it out. I'll help you by holding it. Oh, thank you. Is that the one? Yes. Okay. Let's cut one side at a time. So what you want to do, get a straight. You know, you could probably take these magnets off and use them for something. <laughs> I think I'll save them, yeah. So it looks like this is connected together. So I think we might have put it upside down. Not uh, to worry. Just cut that. No. Not necessary. It's painful to pay for the new thing. So let's gonna cut it right there. We're actually gonna cut it right here because we're gonna cut it longer the first time. Just okay. because we're not sure. Okay, so right here and right there. That's a straight line. Okay. Go for it right there. Right here? Yep. You come on. Just look at my thumb. Now this probably is going to be too long. But let's just see. We'll start with longer. Let's start with longer. What do you think? Let's see how it falls. Yeah, I think, I think that's actually when it's all clipped together going to be the right length. Let's see. Let's I'm glad see. that you chose to go longer because longer is going to be right. Well, we'll see. We're going to see. Do this side here. Let's do the same thing. I think it's not this straight. Let's start right over here. Okay. Oh, that's, don't you think that's going to be right? I don't think it's going to get caught by the door. Okay. Uh, because, like, by the time we tack this up. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. That's a good point. Tack it up. And let's, let's not cut it until you tack the rest. Okay. That's a good point. So then if the Velcro doesn't work, because with the Velcro here now again, we're not going to be able to use the tacks that we did on the top. We may put the duct tape as well. Okay. Now, am I going to do it right here on this plastic? Sure. Either way, it doesn't matter. You want to put it on the block? Okay. And the black, it'll, the door can still close? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, right up here? Yeah, give that a try. There you go. 
Good job. So you put both of them together and then you put it on. Good. Okay. That's good. You can put another one up here. See, it's not sticking. Okay, so what I would suggest instead of the silver, yeah. okay, and you don't have to do this right now, okay, we're just going to put, just put another one. Actually, can you get that um, duct tape for a second? We're going to use her silver it. temporarily, and then we're going to go oh, to you. Dollar Tree or Family General, and you're going to get black. Yeah, yeah. And that'll look a little bit nicer than the silver, but we can use the silver temporarily. So what are we going to do? We're going to just put a little tiny piece. Oh. Just hold this up for now. Because we, we're, we're concerned about the length. Just put oh, a little oh, oh. strip right here. Tem this I gotcha. And I want you to change this. Don't be leaving it like that. Because <laughs> you want your vehicle to look nice. Every I time know. you look at this, it's like, oh. I got that <laughs> tape there. Oh. <laughs> I really got to go fix that. Yeah, it kind of spoils the look. It does. <laughs> See, black would look so much better. That's fine. I think it's enough. Oh. Hey, do you want to put one more? One, one more. more. Okay, one more. So I think halfway down is going to be good, and it's going to close it pretty well. Okay. Do the same with the other side. I have torn this tape up. Okay. All right. Let's see. We'll test it out. Go in and out one time. Okay. So maybe I'll... It might be a little long. <laughs> okay. This is great. Oh my gosh. And this is diffused. And if you had a black shirt on or a dark shirt, yeah. you would be diffused even more. I love it. This, awesome. This is this is what I wanted. Just I'm all about privacy because you pull up anywhere, and if I open this door, everybody sees my personal things, and um, so now it'll be okay. I'm happy. Thank you. You're welcome. Ta-da. <laughs> and this is Cookie. He travels with me. Hi, Cookie. He's a happy boy unless another dog's around. He's <laughs> <laughs> saying hi. He sees. Oh, he's looking at Ken coming up. Oh, uh, okay. Ken's your buddy. So, what do you think, Ken? How'd she do? Not Good. too shabby, huh? So, the pin, huh? The pin is a trick to keep it staying in one yeah, place. Yeah, and then this goes back. Rubber, rubber gasket. That helps oh, to hold it very, very, yeah. I it, do. It was, uh, it'll be under it now. So, so you buy this as a kit? They sell it as, as a Five kit? bucks. What? Yeah. Where? I got it last March here in Quartzsite at the Family Dollar. Mm. So I bought two of them. You can them. get them online too. I got mine on Amazon. Yeah. It was just a fluke. And I'm, I wasn't even looking for it, but I saw it and I said, oh, shoot, I need to get a couple of those just in case. Sure. So. And there you have it. You did a wonderful job. Thank you for your help, Travel Grandma. You're so very welcome. I'm happy to help. That's what we do in our community. Cookie and I are going to enjoy it and we'll have a little more privacy while we get some more air to cool us off, huh, darling? Huh. <laughs> and I will see you on the road. Be kind to others. Ishana, thank you so much for helping out, Katie. Your duct tape really came in handy, even though she's going to change it out with the black tape. Eventually, um, it really was helpful. I'm so glad. That's I know you already have a screen here. Let's see yours for a second here. This, uh, this screen, actually, it's like Katie's in that it was half of a system that was magnetic. Uh-huh. But that system was humongous. Yeah. And so I only needed half of it to cover the width. But you but can't really me... go in and out very exactly. easily, can you? It left me without that. Now, I love it. It's great. But I, when I saw you do this just now, Travel Grandma, yeah. I'm sold. This is a great way to do it. Oh, so, awesome. So Katie. Oh, my gosh. Hey. Here is the screen, the magnetic screen. You're gifting that to her? Absolutely. Oh, yes. oh thank you. No problem. And there's no need.
to even worry about the directions because we have traveled around. <laughs> That's sweet, yes. I sure wouldn't have figured it out. That's why I've been toting them around since last March. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Well, you know, this is what this community is all about. We yeah. Everybody helps everybody. It's quite, quite encouraging. Yeah. Yes. yes. So now you can gift your old screen. You can put it on the free pile and somebody might use it. What a great, I will definitely do that. Yes. Yeah. All right, come on, love. In you go. Good boy. All right. You want a treat? Oh, I love our... Here, watch out, babe. I love our new screen. Look at that. We can just chill, have a little privacy, and some airflow. That's what it's all about. <laughs>